This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 11, Wall Loops, Puzzle 3. Infinite Wall Loops. Oof, the infinite loop. The infamous infinite loop. Alright, wall loops run until their condition becomes false, which raises an interesting question. What happens if the condition never becomes false? In these cases, the program enters what is called an infinite loop over over the commands in the wall loop, and it never reaches the rest of your program. We normally avoid infinite loops in our program, but let's try it out and see what happens. Yikes. Don't do this on your computers. Do this. Starter code is provided which creates a wall loop to move the turtle around the screen. Change the wall loop condition to something that will always be true. An easy way to do this is to change it to 50 to be a number and random number will never dr Oh, an easy way to do- okay. The easiest way to do this is to change 50 to be a number that random number will never generate because random number is only between 1 and 200, so 1 and 100, so they're saying 200. Run the program, notice that it never stops. You might even get an error from your browser. Hit reset, stop it. Your computer may actually stop running as ex as you expected if you let an infinite loop run for too long. It's possible you may even need to close your browser window and reload the page. It may if you hit reset too early enough, early enough you can avoid this problem. I might wait a bit. We'll see if mine crashes. All right, I don't think mine's crashing, so I'll reset. Uh, they want another condition that will cause an infinite loop that uses greater than less than. Okay, boom. <laughs> All right, that's infinite loops. Okay, let's uh, keep going.